Greetings and salutations, internetizens, or internet trolls. I will love you forever for being a troll. Uh, you are trollicious to me, my heart and soul. Me and the trolls go way back, but I'm back again. I uh, this is uh, Wolfotech from uh, Wolfotech random garbage on the internet. Wor the worst YouTube channel ever. But anyways, I happen to be in the story story mode zone. Whoop, 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 whoop. This right here happens to be the teleport pad back to Spotsville. Say so I can go back away, and it's doo doo. I'm back here, and all of a sudden my hair is ba my uh, tentacles are back to my favorite color of uh, teal. I do love that color, by the way. I love the jellyfish so much because they happen to be my one of my favorite colors ever. But anyways, here's back to the story mode section. As I said, I would actually focus on in this video the story mode. I'm only going to do like one video of the story mode because I'm anti giving away the story, but I have no problem actually getting you entered. Oh, uh, that's the old Agent 3. Of course. It's not quite right. And I basically magically fixed it to match my character. And just like that, boom. I just customized is the captain. You got accidentally fuzzy, oozed, mammalized. You got mammalized there! Ha ha! No! Wait! My god, you have amazing jumping abilities! For Pete's sakes, how powerful are your jumping abilities, little guy? A little introduction to crates breaking. What's this? See, Small Fry's a genius. He tells you where to go. Aha! Number one! Uh, clearly this is uh, this is a little nice little thing here or that indicates A, you have collected the zapfish from it, but B, there's something else you can collect from it too. Let's go! Alrighty! Uh, old pro in story mode, yo! Uh, First and for foremost, whenever you enter an area, it's never a bad idea to ink across multiple areas. That way you can actually power up.
It is very important in Splatoon to look around the stage, and when you get on top of high spots, to look down and around, because oftentimes you will have hidden away areas or alcoves. It'd be so cool if I could actually ink that. Now, and small fry will do some damage to that. Never hurts to look down off of a ledge because sometimes you'll spot the hidden stuff in the stage. By the way, I have Vertigo, and Splatoon, as a franchise, has done so much to help me combat it. Because Nintendo has really fallen in love with the whole floating stage age mechanic. See, that's a visual indicator right there, that little squid right there that's swimming up. To indicate, hey, you want to... As I said before, you want to look down off of ledges. Master tip. You'll find a lot of stuff that way. It's not typically a bad idea to bust all the crates. Small fry, yo! No! And then he goes jumping, jumping into sky like Superman and comes back to you. Just a natural habit from playing Splatoon 1, 2, and Octo Expansion is to look off ledges. That's to stop you from running off the ledge. Don't you know? Come, come around and say your little song. Go, go, small fry. Beat the snot out of it, y'all. And of course, I don't see anything off the ledge. I just see boats, 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 and more boats. Interestingly enough, I can see little platforms down there. I just kind of like... I am one of those people that loves Splatoon for, for the verticality of the stages. I 
<laughs> now I'm practically at the end of the stage where I do not I think all the collectibles, they, uh, according to the Splatfest and all the information I came across uh, online about uh, all the collectibles and stages, they were moved into the main game. Now, of course, I like to take my time and then just roam through the stage, just picking and looking at things. And then the artwork appears. And I got the... It's completed. Watch small fry take off into the sky and come landing down by me. Huh, interesting. So it's only specific types where you see these big nodules. And all of a sudden that area is cleared. You can pick it up in the lobby terminal and use it to decorate your locker. Huh. You got a decoration. Yeah. Yeah. No, funny enough, I should have actually... Minus 300. Wow. Sink into the ink and swim. 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 
So now we are in a stage called Sink Into The Ink And Swim! What do we have for our contestants, Johnny? Well, I had to say, uh, we have this crazy contraption. What could it be? Where do you go? What kind of secrets didn't hear you know? Isn't that a UFO? Yes, Johnny. Uh, that was from the earliest Splatoon One. That was often the first opponent, the first boss you often fought. First Platoon One in the test stage. Ah, you're funny, huh? Yeah, I remember the original version of Cleveland Junior. <laughs> funny, funny, <laughs> funny, funny. Uh... See, this is fun here. Got this little... Ooh. Natural habit of mine from Splatoon 1 and 2 is just to, like, literally look off ledges. Oh, no! I've destroyed the vital artwork of ancient civilizations! What did I discover? A ramp! <gasps> Yay! Another UFO! Just so you know. Ah. The area I took out the enemy earlier. If you are really tired of certain, certain obstacles, you just simply fall down a level and go up. 
I bet five bucks I can actually jump onto that and just climb it up. Just doing an ink up wall. Oh, you know, you just shh, climb up it most of the way. You just power jump it. Intensify action. And just climb all the way up to there. Shortcut. They don't hide any special items in the stages anymore, apparently. I have confirmed what has been said on the internet and even by Nintendo. You are wearing the latest in apocalyptic survival fashion. Avoid enemies and negate the splatlands in style with your own high-end sensor. Dry clean only. You gotta learn everything about your gear. That's uh, another battle-tested rule of Battlefield. That's uh, first rule of war is to understand how your uh, gear actually works. Which also goes hand in hand with the other first uh, rule of war, understanding your opponent's weapon. Oh my goodness, I've spent so much of my stuff. I could have like literally made it easier on myself by not wasting sting, uh, that 100 on uh, the stage just keeps going down and down. Bit of a shortcut. I will, I'm a, I'm literally I'm literally a hundred short hurt
I'm literally a hundred short. If I didn't collect that one item from over there, or to get, uh, didn't collect that one item back there, I would have been on spot. Boxes locked, keys please. Boxes locked and keys please. Wow, what kind of crazy Japanese show is this? Well, I hope they don't hide it in your bum. And you have to fish it out with you, your friend's mouth. Why, yes, Tim, that's exactly what. Your hands are tied behind your back, and everyone's key is, is stuck in their bum. Your friend has to... <laughs> your buddy has to extract your key from your bum. And then insert it into your er, handcuffs on the back of your head. Wow, Tom, that's a mighty strange thing to do. Why, yes, it's a Japanese TV uh, game show. That's standard. Aha! I see. There's a relay point there. Interesting. Huh.
it's definitely a it's definitely worth of ignoring unnecessary side paths. Agent two here over. Uh huh. Callie Marie shows up. Whoa! Are we waiting for Agent Two? Let's go collect him. Okay, where's the old man? He got stuck in the terrain. Wow. You're a voracious little monster. Well, this is interesting. I don't see... What are they? Can we stop them? What are they? Can we stop them? Brought to you by... Oh no! What is that? <laughs> and them! <clears throat> no! I don't want purple ink in my area. No purple inks. Purple ink's bad. Natural urge of mine in from Splatoon 1 and 2 is to look around corners. Natural urge to look around all the corners. I want to look around all the corners.
My spire sense is tingling. This tells me, you see an arena like this and you don't see all the enemies? It tells me that the Octarians are about to attack me. I'm going to jump down, and I'm going to be ambushed by Octarians. It's worth it making it to the end with all your armor on. Wow. A thousand. Octavio, nice to see you, buddy. I love how you like your big suits. Dude, if you weren't a bad guy, I'd work for you. <laughs> Quit spawning nonsense and listen up. Oh, it's always such a delight to fight a DJ Octavio. Oh, I'm going to have to save this for the next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a delightful day and a nice night and a wonderful weekend. See you next time.